Let's check in with meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. It's been awfully foggy and wet. We don't want the First Lady to arrive to Rhode Island and seal that. Will she be able to see anything later? Well, things are starting to improve and the shower is diminishing. We still have areas of fog, drizzle and dampness, as you can see here from our Newport camera, but skies have brightened up in the upper part of the bay over Providence breaks a blue sky. East Bay getting some sunshine as well, and the temperatures are very mild. But again, down in Newport, very foggy out 70 degrees, though upper 60s with a few breaks of blue sky in New Bedford and Smithfield's around 70 right now with the temperatures under rainy conditions in Glendale and Coventry still in the middle 60s. So we're going to see those showers diminishing leading our three key things. There'll still be some isolated activity and patchy fog into this evening before the skies clear out overnight and that starts the beginning of a dry stretch for us tomorrow through the upcoming weekend and it comes with lots of sunshine. Halloween outlook still looking at a chance for some showers, especially by uh, Monday night and we'll show you those details in the seven day. Right now we've got two batches of showers, one that's sitting from Worcester into Western Rhode Island all the way down to Westerly and even Block Island, and then a second batch of rainfall that's starting to diminish over eastern Massachusetts. In between is where we're getting some of those breaks of blue sky. On the Cape, very heavy rainfall so far in the morning hours with just some lingering lighter showers again across the western parts of Rhode Island from Foster and Gloucester, and we're seeing some of those showers still down around Block Island. About a quarter of an inch of rain since midnight in Providence, nearing a half inch of rain in Smithfield, but more than three inches of rain falling on parts of the Cape. So with the last couple of days of rain, certainly adding up those totals, we're more than two inches above normal for rainfall uh, so far this month. And the seasonal rainfall right behind that uh, 12 logo departure from normal is up more than four inches above seasonal averages for the month so far uh, for the season so far, I should say for this this afternoon, though, the trend will be for things to start to dry out. Temperatures around 70 degrees. Winds will end up out of the south. You can see 2:30 this afternoon. Not too bad. Most of the showers tapered off upper 60s to near 70 degrees. A couple of breaks in the cloud cover before the sun sets. Even inland areas 5:30 this evening. Overnight tonight, starting off with a little bit of patchy fog and leftover cloud cover, but that clears out. And by tomorrow morning, we are back to sunshine. Temperatures will be cooler than this morning into the middle and upper 50s. If we take a look at what is impacting our weather, we've got a wave of low pressure lifting up from out over the ocean, passing near uh, the Cape and Nantucket, and then followed up by a cold front that's still a ways back to the west over the Ohio Valley. Behind that front, you can see some cooler air returning to the Great Lakes and into the Ohio Valley, and that cooler air will eventually be coming in. So we'll see a shift in the winds tomorrow to the northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour with some gusts to 20. We do sneak in another mild day tomorrow well into the 60s with sunshine about 65 to 70 again and then cooler for Friday. Weekend looks beautiful chilly nights and mild days followed by that chance of a few showers on Monday, especially Monday night for uh, again after trick or treating. So something we'll be keeping an eye on as new data comes in and we get closer to that time frame.